So I'm a professional dating coach. I help people who are either in the dating scene or maybe having to get back out there who want to make sure that they can avoid all the traps and all the mishaps of you know what the dating world has. They reach out to me, make sure they have really good experiences. Yeah, and you do such a great job. And we invite all of our Daily Refresh viewers to send in questions, and they do. So today I have a question for you. It says, all right, is it true that being really attracted to your partner is extremely important, but it's not something that you should force? You should really find your partner attractive. Please help. Is this real? Thank you. That's what that's what it says. <laughs> right, right. Uh, so with a little bit more context on that, someone that they sent that to me, I sent that to you. Yeah. They're, they're 23. This is their first relationship and they're getting two different pieces of advice. One from their mother uh -huh. who's saying, looks aren't everything you really need to pay attention to how he's treating you is he is he nice and then she's got her friends and her sister saying you deserve better Seth <laughs> so I think it's really interesting when you look at the priorities mm -hmm. of the people who are giving the advice the mother she's probably hey you need somebody that's more stable if you're going to step into a really serious relationship mm -hmm. with the friends and her sister probably not looking to date too seriously and that's where that advice is coming from but to answer the question, is it important to be attracted to your partner? It's extremely important. Right. I know we don't want to sound shallow and, you know, looks aren't everything, but they are a lot. Yeah. Looks are very, very important. And that's not something that you should try to hope it grows on you. That is that is some of the worst advice. What should grow on you is maybe their personality, but you should be initially attracted to that person right off the rip. You just really should. For sure. And I don't, I feel like you're never put in a situation, even people that may be on apps or they're out in public you look at someone you think they're cute you don't know anything about them you don't know about the mom and daddy or if they go to church you're literally just looking and saying okay they look good so i agree with you on the attraction but uh have you experienced a client that maybe wasn't attracted and then became attracted because i know that's a thing as well yeah i mean you could definitely grow more attracted to somebody but you have to at least have some form of base attractiveness and right. i usually form that within the first three to six seconds like you look at somebody, you're like, up and down, okay, okay, this, <laughs> yeah. this will, we can work with this and go from there. But having zero attraction and then hoping something builds, that's not the best way to go about dating. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, if our viewers watching now are really trying to get back into the love game, I know you went through a divorce, he's public about it, I'm not airing out your laundry, and then you got back into the game and now you have a beautiful wife and everything looks to be Amazing. I love Diana. She's awesome. Um, what would you say to someone that may be like hesitant about getting back into the dating world? Um, I think that hesitation comes from not truly trusting yourself to make really good decisions. Again, if you were in a relationship that failed, you're like, dang, maybe I don't really know what I'm looking for. Right. Maybe I don't know how to spot red flags or maybe, you know, I don't really know myself yet. So really do that, that, that inner work. Take your time. You don't have to jump right back out into the dating world yet. And if you're in that that's that part of the the dating growth period that's when people yeah. reach out to me yeah so i can really help make sure you get you know springboarded into the right direction yeah and there's been so many success stories of you helping people on their journey so thank you thanks for bringing love to the chattanooga area now if our viewers want more information about you where can they find out sure you can go to my website brock olson.com you can go to my youtube channel brock olson the dating expert where i'm posting YouTube videos almost every single day, really high value content, but you can reach out to me on Instagram, Facebook, you know, slide into my DMs. Slide into the <laughs> dating experts DMs. All right, Brock, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you, Sierra.